In this video, we automatically shut down Windows Virtual Desktop Personal Host Pool Session Host when they're not in use. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. Windows Virtual Desktop recently gained a preview feature that will start a session host in a personal host pool when a user logs in. I'll leave a link below. This is a great feature that can lead to cost savings by only powering on session hosts when they're in use. But it's missing something, the ability to shut down the session host when it's not in use. Before we get to that, please take a second to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. The channel just passed 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank everyone who subscribed. If you'd like to learn more about Windows Virtual Desktop, check out my course, Zero to Hero with Windows Virtual Desktop on Udemy.com, and follow me on Twitter for discount codes and other useful information. Let's get back to shutting down session host in a personal host pool. We can schedule a shutdown through a lot of automation options, but how do we do that without disrupting someone who may be working outside of normal business hours? Or what if somebody works for half a day and the session host is scheduled to shut down in the evening? That could be hours of idle time the VM didn't need to be running. In this video, we go over a script that will find session hosts with active sessions and compare that to powered on and available session hosts. If a session host is available but no one's logged in, the script will shut it down. No slides for this video, just some recommendations before we get started. Be sure to create a GPO that logs out disconnected sessions. The script is designed to be harmless, meaning it won't shut down a session host if there's any type of session, including disconnected sessions. By using a GPO to log out sessions, the VM will be in a state where it's available to be shut down. And finally, I recommend running the script no less than every 30 minutes. If it runs any more frequently than 30 minutes, you could face instances of overlaps between session hosts starting when the user connects, but it gets shut down because the user hasn't finished logging in yet. Let's get started by reviewing the GPO settings. I don't want anyone to overlook this step. This script won't work if the user session stays disconnected and never gets logged out. To make sure disconnected sessions are automatically logged out, create a group policy and set computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, remote desktop services, remote desktop session host, session time limits. Set a time limit that works best for your organization to log out the disconnected sessions. There's also an option to limit the active but idle time as well. Apply that GPO to the session host OU to force a logout of session host when they're not in use. Here we are in the portal. Let's start by creating a new function app. You can use an existing PowerShell function app if you have one. Just be sure to set permissions on the managed identity to match this example. Let's go to function apps and add a new one. Create a new resource group. This one will be called Auto Stop Personal RG01. Give the function app a name, Auto Stop Personal 01 for this example. Leave it as code, set the runtime stack to PowerShell and select your location. Hosting and monitoring can be left as default. Go to Review and Create. Click Create to deploy the function app. This may take a minute to finish. I'll pause here until it's complete. That finished, go to the resource. Let's configure the function app to use the AZ modules in PowerShell. Go to App Files. Select requirements.psd1. Uncomment the AZ equals five line. That will enable the PowerShell AZ modules. Save and let's go back to function overview. Restart the function app so the AZ module is available. Next, let's configure the managed identity. Go to Identity under Settings.
We'll enable the System Assigned Managed Identity and click Save. Once created, go to Role Assignments. and add a role assignment. Select subscription from the scope. Search and add the desktop virtualization reader role. Click save and add a second role. Set the scope to subscription again. This time, search for a virtual machine contributor. And save. This will give the Function app rights to read attributes from Windows Virtual Desktop and stop VMs. It will take a couple minutes before the roles will show on this page. Go back to the Function app. Let's go to Functions next. Click Add to create the function. A function app can have multiple functions. You could add this function to an existing PowerShell function app, providing permissions are set correctly. For this, we'll use a timer trigger. Scroll down. Change the name if you'd like. We also need to set the schedule. The default is to run every five minutes. I don't think this function needs to be that aggressive. Matter of fact, as I mentioned earlier, I recommend against it. Change the five to 30 to set it to run every 30 minutes. I included a link to documentation that goes over the schedule expression in the function app if you want a different schedule. Go to add. From here, go to code and test. If you do need to update the schedule, you can change it by going to function.json and update the schedule and save. Let's go back to run.ps1 and delete all of the code that's there. And we'll replace it with the auto stop code. Let's go up to the variable section. Update the variables with a name and resource group for your host pool. Also, it's not uncommon to have session hosts in their own resource group. If that's the case, update the session host VM resource group variable as well. The rest of the code starts by getting a list of all the session hosts with an active connection. It then gets a list of all the powered on session hosts that are not in drain mode. The script filters out session host in drain mode, so a user doesn't have to be logged in if maintenance needs to be applied. For example, if you want to push updates out to a VM, you can put it in drain mode and the script won't shut it down. The script then goes on to run a comparison and if the session host is powered on, but no one's logged in, it'll shut the VM down. Let's save and move on to testing. Let's review the personal host pool used for this example. Here there are three session hosts and two users logged in. When the script runs, it'll shut down the session host with no active connection, but leave the two session hosts with active connection running. Let's go back to the function app. We'll make this bigger. Go to test and run. And run. We can close this. It may take it a little bit longer on the first run to download the AZ modules. This is a one-time event. I'll pause here and come back once it's done. That finished. At the end, it shows we have two active session hosts that won't be shut down, and one that's not active that will be shut down. Let's take a look at our host pool. We'll do a refresh. And there we go, it shut it down. Now with auto start, when test2 user2 goes to log in, that VM will be started automatically. And as long as that user is logged in, the VM won't be shut down. That's how we use an Azure function to shut down session hosts in a personal host pool that aren't in use. I hope you find this helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.